What is up guys, this is Righteous Rokaza bringing you a Gen 6 match on Pokemon Showdown. Today I will be showcasing a Mega Tyranitar sweep on a team that is partially mine. Uh, originality is not exactly, um, originality is not new when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, the team I was making, I had difficulties coming up with the final slot for a Pokemon, so as I was going around on the Rate My Team forums of Smogon, I found this guy who peaked at number 1. And his team was a carbon copy of what I already had, except he ran an Assault Vest Conkildur, a uh, slower Rotom, and a more offensively based Slender's T. I tried out his team the way it is, the way it's going to be showcased in this battle, and uh, I'm jealous because I'm ashamed I haven't thought of the Conkildur sooner. That thing's amazing. So uh, let's get on with the match, shall we? Uh, I'm going to off to the Genesec, pretty obvious, he's going to off to the Entei. Uh, I'm going to switch out into my Landorus T to get the Intimidate drop, and because I just don't need him as much in this battle. Uh, he's going to go for the Eruption, pretty odd choice, I could have sworn he was going to use the Sacred Fire. So he's going to switch out into his Extra Drill. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks, and then I'm going to go for the U-Turn as his Extra Drill sends out his own Stealth Rocks. He could have Fractus Spin, but he, he chose not to. So now I'm going to go out into my Conk Hilder. Um, I could have gone for uh, Mach Punch, but uh, I don't want to predict his switch out, but he stays in anyway, so I go for the knockoff followed by the Mach Punch as he sends out his uh, Mew now, and he sets up a con mine instead of hitting me where it would have hurt, and uh, I go for the knockoff, hurting that Mew a lot to make him drop his life orb. Then I'm going to go for the Mach Punch to knock out his Mew. He's now going to send out his Heat Ran. And because he did not hit me with his Mew, I will be able to survive the Fire Blast of this Heat Man's packing and hit it up with the Drain Punch, completely knocking it out. So early on in the match, this Kong Kildur put in so much work, he's already wiped out half this guy's team, uh, his whole defensive core, I believe, except for Jachi. So um, he sent out his Entei. I'm sending out my Landorus because um, I want that thing weakened, and the more he brings it in, he can only bring it about two more times, the, the better. So. Um, with my Landers now down, because that Sacred Fire doing so much damage, even at minus one, I'm using my Rotom. I should have gone for the Volt Switch here, but I went for the Hydro Pump just in case. You know, it was the stupidest move ever. So um, I'm far off a little list because I assumed I was faster when it's not my Rotom. It's kind of kind of hard switching to a set you don't use. So after pretty much wasting my Rotom, I go for a Volt Switch on the Kiram. Go out into my Genesect because I want to break that thing sub. So I'm going to go for the Iron Head as my opponent uses the... Fusion Bolt's doing a lot of damage because Genesect is not exactly the most bulkiest Pokemon in the world, so I predict the switch into Drachi, but he actually goes into Entei as I go into my uh, Egg Slash. In hindsight, I could have gone for Shadow Sneak, but uh, that, that thought did not cross my mind. I thought I could have survived. So he's going to switch out into his Drachi as I Mega Evolve, go for the Crunch. He could have potentially done some damage to me, but I guess he wanted to save his... Um, his Entei, so now that Jirachi is dead, he brings out his Kiram. I knew I could take any hit this Kiram has, so as he hit me with a Fusion Bolt, I take up the opportunity to set up a Dragon Dance. Then I proceed to take out the rest of his team with Crunch. For those of you who don't know, when a Mega Trianchar, a Jolly Natured one, max investment attack and speed, if he's able to set up one Dragon Dance, he's able to compete in speed. He's able to compete in speed with most Scarfed Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure the statistics, but I know he can compete with um, the speed of some Scarlet Pokemon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Registry Quaza signing off.